Hello class, welcome to this day's ACT prep lesson. Um, today we're going to be talking about subject verb agreement and I want you guys to be able to know when a subject and verb is agreeing and when how the ACT is going to test you on subject verb agreement specifically. So first we're going to start off with an example sentence which is Amanda was at the store yesterday. So we know that this sentence is correct. But how do we know it's correct? And if you're, a native, if you're a native English speaker, then maybe you know it's correct because it sounds right. But we also need to know why it sounds correct, and the ACT will test you on knowing why it's correct. So the reason that we know it's correct is because Amandla is singular and was is singular. So the subject and the verb are agreeing with each other. And another thing that you can use that is not directly related to subject-verb agreement but can help you figure out what verb needs to be um, in this place is looking at a time marker if there is one. So if you have the time marker yesterday, you know that it needs to be in the past tense. And so you know that the past is agreeing and the singularness is agreeing. So we know that these sentences are working together. And let's say we have another sentence such as Shonda wrote the script and made coffee. So if we have this sentence, um, another thing that the ACT will specifically test you on is not only that the singular verbs are agreeing with the singular uh, subjects, but also that the verbs throughout the sentence are consistent. So if Shonda wrote her script, then she also needs to have made her coffee, both in the past tense. And while saying Shonda wrote her script and makes her coffee is something that we might say colloquially, it's not something that is correct for the ACT. So you need to make sure that the verb tenses are consistent throughout the sentence. If you start off in the past, you end in the past. If you start off in the future, you end in the future. Um, so now we have some uh, examples that I would like to work with you guys on. Um, and so first we have Janelle blank and saying for the talent show. So for this sentence, we are dealing with the verb dance. Um, and looking at the word sang, um, what, what tense are we going to be using um, in this place? Past tense. Yes, that is correct. And how would we conjugate dance so that it's in the past tense? Dance. Yes, that is correct. We will just add a D. And now it is in the past tense, and so now we have Janelle danced and sang for the talent show. Okay, great. So now we have another example. Um, Zendaya blank the MTV special with friends tomorrow. And the verb that we're working with is watch. And so looking at the time marker of tomorrow, and we're looking at Zendaya, who is singular, um, what tense um, are we going to put watch in for this? Yes, that is correct. It's going to be future tense. Um, and how do we conjugate watch so that it is going to be in the future tense? We'll watch. Yes, that is correct. Perfect. Okay. So now that we have that all connected, we all know, looking at both of these, we notice that danced and sang, they're consistent with each other. Um, and with this one, we have tomorrow matching with we'll watch. And we have Zendaya also matching with Will Watch, and everything is perfectly agreeing with each other. The timelines are agreeing with each other, um, and so now we have that. So now the last thing that I want to go over with you guys is the um, is an example ACT question, which is, as the dancer effortlessly contorts her body, she was also smiling at the crowd of people watching and cheering her on. Um, and so we're looking at the phrase was also smiling. And so we have the choices of no change, has also smiled, will also smiled, and is also smiling. And of all those choices, A, B, C, or D, which one is the correct version? D. Yeah, e. Correct, that is correct. The answer is D. And the reason that we know it's D is because we're going to look at, so we know that we're working with the phrase was also smiling, and that's the one that is uh, subject to change or not. So we have to look at the rest of the sentence to ensure that those are all agreeing. So we have watching and we have cheering, and even though that matches with smiling, it's not matching with was. Um, and so we need to know, and so it needs to be in a more present tense so that it matches with watching and cheering. And another hint that you could have used is the word as. Um, which like connotates that it's going to be in a more currently happening situation and a more present tense. And so you know that's also why it would be 
um, is also smiling, as opposed to will also smile, which doesn't match with watching or cheering at all, has also smiled, which is, again, the smiled doesn't match with ing, watching and cheering on. Um, and while was also smiling is matching with watching and cheering, it's in the wrong tense, um, as noted by the as time marker and watching and cheering are also being in the present tense. So now you have what you need to master subject-verb agreement and how the ACT tests it. Thank you guys. Thank you.